Hey guys, it's been longer than we all hoped since the last time when I announced that Datacom boy managed to directly access Catwalk C2 without the company gateway. And the problem was back then that it was still using the cable. For example, when we connected it to the headset, I still had to have the cable here near my head. And the idea was to get rid of the cable. So I'm happy to announce that he actually managed to do this. And not just that, it's something you can try and almost for free to be able to use his new receiver. So yes, he built a new receiver. So your old receiver is placed under the treadmill dish. That black box connected to a power socket. He built an alternative one, so you can completely disconnect the old one and you don't need any cables to your computer or in the future to your Oculus headset. And his receiver directly connects to the sensors. So there are sensors, the backplate sensor and the shoe sensors. Well, he didn't build the hardware. For hardware, it's this. To be exactly precise, it's just this thing. It's called seed. All you need is seed. Seed is all you need. And this thing costs about 10 to $20. You can buy it anywhere. He's not selling it. I'm not selling it. And then you just connect it to your computer with the cable and this thing directly to the sensors. That's the whole idea. He built a code for this small device and the command line tools to update it. So let's see how it all works. First, let's configure the new receiver. We need to connect the seed microcontroller to the computer. Then we need to reset it. Press the tiny button on the left of the USB twice. A message about XTAO sense drive will appear. Then we run the install command line script from Datacom's void distribution. You can check the content of the script if you want. It is safe. The script will upload the firmware to the microcontroller. You won't be able to keep the cutwall gateway open during this process. I have it there only for the illustration purposes. You can see it cannot find any receiver at the moment. Once the upload is finished, you're all set up. No need to pair your shoes again. The script does it for you. The gateway found the sensors, but they are sleeping at the moment. Let's wake them up. All looks good. Notice that the new receiver is fully compatible with the original Cutwalk gateway. You don't need a new gateway for now, but maybe you'll want it in the future. You can also connect the new receiver directly to the headset. You cannot play standalone games with it yet though, but you can play PC games. The new receiver can operate on a higher frequency. Catwalk receiver operates at 86 Hz and the receiver from Datacom Boy operates at 100 Hz. So the updates from the shoes come more often and this results in smaller latency. My role in all this was quite modest, all just some psychological support, I would say, because this was a really, really hard problem to solve for Tata Convoy. And he will be publishing in-depth article how he achieved this, so all the steps, and he's open sourcing this software to, so you, you can use and you can contribute, I guess, to his repo. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, subscribe and stay tuned.